This video marks a sixth month milestone since I started transforming my unloved tiny mid-terrace garden into a tiny tropical garden oasis. I shared my tropical garden ideas with you in the first video in this series. So let's see how far I've managed to get towards achieving my dream of a tiny tropical garden oasis in only six months. Welcome to the jungle. Using hardy exotic plants such as palms and bamboos and building a stream has helped me achieve a jungly tiny tropical garden look in a very short space of time. The small stream is already attracting wildlife back into the garden and adds a soothing movement and sound to our small garden space. Fast-growing trees in pots line the edge of the patio to add height and break up the hard surface of the boundary wall. Quick-growing annuals that grow tall, like these castor oil plants and crackerjack marigolds, have helped to quickly make the garden feel like a mature tropical oasis. By adding plants with coloured foliage, the tiny tropical garden shows off these colours throughout the season. The huge leaves on this castor oil plant and these cannas are essential for adding to the tropical feel in the garden. And their deep dark purple foliage will contrast beautifully against the crackerjack marigold blooms that are just beginning to open. The gorgeous purple coloured foliage is repeated in the leaves on this Calias plant and they're used to fill in the spaces in the bedding. At the back of the lush leafy borders, there are young banana palms which are rapidly gaining height with their huge lime green jungly leaves. Even more colourful foliage can be found in the heucheras and grasses growing in the rocky banks of the pebble stream. Verbena plants are used to achieve instant height and colour in the bed in the middle of our tiny tropical garden. And the long stems that hold the flowers allow the eyes still to peer through to the rest of the jungly garden. The pollinators and wildlife love these clusters of tiny purple flowers. Edible plants such as chamomile and oregano are grown at the base of this dwarf fan palm. And just beside that is a beautiful large-leafed Enseti banana, a must-have plant for any tiny tropical garden with its glossy green and rich purple leaves. The pool at the end of the pebble stream is surrounded by ferns, hostas, gunnera, umbrella palm, and a Colocasia esculanta that boasts enormous tropical leaves. Even more tropical foliage can be seen in the varieties of fatio used in the garden, with deeply lobed and some variegated leaves. This spider's web fatio is putting out stunning pure white leaves, and just beside that is a rare fern which can grow leaves that are over one meter long. The garden has two young tetrabanic plants that were grown from plugs earlier in the year. As these plants mature, these leaves will be some of the biggest in the garden. The roost tree cuttings have grown on very well, with long leaves that really add to the tropical vibe. These two clumps of black velvet canna line the edge of the footpath and tie the two borders together. Evergreens like Euphorbia and Fatsia will provide year-round tropical foliage when the huge leaves of these castor oil plants have gone. Bamboos have helped add instant height to our tiny tropical garden with the running varieties contained in large pots. Our tiny tropical garden is well on its way to looking like my initial sketch. As the weeks, months and years go on, it will continue to grow and evolve. Watch my video series to see how I got this far in only six months and please subscribe to watch this tiny tropical garden oasis continue to grow and evolve. Cheers for watching.